want to show you a real easy trick for your pet beds when you're out on the road. Looking at a self-made like this dog bed like this these are big and bulky and they don't have removable covers and the problem with something like this is sometimes they break like this one is Sasha's and you can see it has a hole in it if I were to throw this in the washing machine right now a lot of that stuffing that's inside of this bed would probably fall out so I've come up with an easy no sew cover for this problem if you're on the road and you want to be able to go for a longer time with your pet bed because these are really cumbersome to find a machine that takes them. This is a smaller size, but if you have a bigger dog, I mean, it's kind of cost you a lot of money. It's cumbersome and they do get smelly. So my idea is to do a no sew cover for these beds. And if you're lucky, and depending on the size of your bed, you might even be able to get two covers with my idea. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have a twin size sheet. You could also use a baby crib sheet um, if the bed is a small bed. Or you might be able to just use a small crib sheet if it's a very large bed and just wrap it around. But this is a Walmart uh, fitted sheet. And this is a twin size that I had in my other trailer in the bunkhouse. And you can see that it's got an elastic. This kind has the elastic that goes all the way around. You want to make sure it has elastic all the way around because if not, you're going to be tying this a lot. So what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the sheet and find the corners of the sheet here they are right here okay these are the these are the two corners of the sheet and that's where the seam is and that's what the other seam and then what I do is I take my bed and I wrap it around that make sure you get all the way in the bottom to the bed okay this is going to be your bed cover it's going to fit like this when you need to wash the bed you're just going to take the cover off and you can put another one because you can get on a twin side you can get two with this idea, you can get two, so you can have alternate. When you're washing one, you have another one. What I'm going to do now is I pretty much have estimated that I'm going to cut this sheet. You want to make it a lot longer than what it is. So I'm going to cut it probably. So here's the end of the bed. And I'm going to do about that much space. I'm going to cut it there. Okay, so now that it's cut, this is what it looks like cut. Now I can go back and put it back on the bed again. Make sure it goes all the way down to the bottom, because if not, it'll slip off. You don't want it to be too tight, because if it's too tight, they tend to, they tend to want to um, use their nails in there. So, so now that that's in, it's on the elastic side, and this is my cut side. So this is what it looks like right now from the underside and this is the side that um, I have so I have cut so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tie that I'm gonna make sure this goes all the way under and I'm gonna tie that I don't want it to be too tight I want it to be kind of loose because there it is there's a knot right there you can tuck the knot under nobody has to see it you could put it against a wall I mean it just if you make it like this pretty um, bunchy like that it doesn't really look bad you could decorate it if you wanted to if you wanted to show it there put a bow on it or something it was all be pretty pretty also if you wanted to do that um, but this is an easy way to do a cover for your dog's bed but this is what it looks like from the top looking down as you can see Sasha will have no problem getting into that bed and what I like about this is that you can get them at the thrift store and you can get any color if you change your decorating colors for the winter as you do in the summer you can change it's really easy to change this and it'll still look nice in your RV because you can adapt it in the colder climates you can actually use a flannel sheet for your dog if your dog is cold like a chihuahua it's as long as they have the elastic all the way around you'll be able to do this idea and as you can see this size bed I was able to have um, this much left over so I have way more than enough for another bed 
see that that's a lot that's a lot I have a lot left right here so I'm going to go ahead and make another one with this. And this way I don't have to keep buying the beds and um, I could just buy the cover. So these are about, um, I think about $4 for a twin sheet at Walmart. So it's just easier for me to replace. I can get two out of these. When she breaks one, I could toss that out and I still have another one left over. The pet bed. Ta-da! That's the pet bed. Here are some things that I keep in my car for my pets. One, I keep a portable vacuum. I keep a leash stake so they can sit outside at our campsite. I use old towels in the same color of my seats to keep my seats clean. I've opened holes and that makes them removable so I can launder them easily on the road. In the middle, Muffin sleeps on a vinyl baby seat cover I got at Target. I like and I can wipe it down when it's dirty. I have an essential oil fragrance infuser that plugs into my DC outlet. I keep an umbrella and emergency ponchos in case I have to walk my dogs in the rain. I got this little cooler bag that hangs on my back seat to keep food or water cold on hot days. It's good storage when I don't use it as a cooler. I keep extra leashes and a pet hair removal sponge so that I can wipe my clothing of any hair. I keep a dog leash and harness in my car in case any of the dog give me a problem and they don't sit still. Collapsible water container is essential. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and stay tuned because this season I'm gonna have some homesteading videos that I promised you in the past and I never got around to it. So stay tuned so you can find out how cheap you can live on a homestead. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, please share it, and please subscribe. Hey guys, you don't only have to have an RV to have my sticker. You can also put it on your truck like I did.